All right, so I'll kick us off with South 1 then. South 1 has Austin, FC Juarez, and Mazatlan. Mazatlan. Uh, so I'll start with Austin. They are currently 12th in the Supporter Shield, 5th in the West. My key player for them, it's an obvious one if you follow MLS, Sebastian Gerisi. He is their big-name player. He is their superstar. Uh, been off to a bit of a slow start this year, but I do think Austin's finally starting to get it together. And uh, I think he will be crucial to them being as successful as they were last season. He was one of the best players in the league. He was up for the MVP award. Uh, and Austin finished in second place in the West, I believe, because of that. So if he starts getting going again, Austin's going to be right back to that dangerous team we were expecting at the start of the season. FC Juarez, they so we're looking. I don't know if Andrew, I don't think Andrew specified this, but we are going to just look at their standing positions from last season, considering this season is only about like three games in. So last season in the uh, Apertura, they finished in 11th, and in the Clausura, they finished in this, they finished in 16th. Key player was a bit of a tough one for me on this one. Uh, Because almost every starter from last year is gone. There was massive turnover in this team. But I've gone for Aitor Garcia. He came over from Spain in the Spanish second division uh, and is looking to help improve a team that was struggling in the attack last season. They were pretty decent defensively, but really lacking in the goals. So I think Garcia could be a good addition to help kind of fix that issue for them. And then for Mazatlan, uh, Apertura, they finished in 14th and the Clausura they finished in 18th. So not exactly the strongest side. I've gone for Nestor Vidro as their key player. He is a, a bit of an older defender for them. He is their team captain and was also one of their higher rated consistent starters on sofa score from last year. So I think he'll be a good team leader for this team uh, where in this case, it looks like they're going to probably be in an uphill battle. So I think his leadership in the back line will be super important for them. Pretty interesting that is a lot. Are a lot of your groups Liga MX heavy? No, I would say let's see, one, two. There's only two groups that have majority Liga MX teams. That's what I thought as well, and it's it's interesting that they took two of the bottom three teams from Liga MX and put them in the same bracket. You yeah, know? I think Austin got a bit lucky there. I, I would absolutely say this is, a, this is a group that Austin should be handling relatively easily. Uh, but then again, they should have gotten through the Haitian side, Violet, and True. absolutely, um, I can't use the term on this podcast. Bottled but it. Yeah, bottled is a great way to, to put what I was about to say. <laughs> um, what about your predictions? Talk to me. So I've got Austin at one. I got FC Juarez at two, and I've got Mazatlan at three. So I am actually going to switch that up a bit. You mentioned all the turnover at Juarez, mm -hmm. and they just started off their season, so they really haven't had that time to gel. So I think it's going to be Austin in the first spot, Mazatlan in the second spot, and Juarez in the third spot. That's fair. I think two and three could definitely be flipped, but I've gone. I think I've just gone for the team that I felt was a bit stronger on paper, even though they have had that turnover, like you said. Mm -hmm. I do believe that Mazatlan may have been one of the last teams promoted before the freeze. So that might be why they've been struggling so. Um, mm -hmm. But again, I think this could be a good spot. A lot of the things that I talk about in my groups are you know, a good spot where, you know, you may not get out of the group, but it's a really good opportunity to get some new players chemistry, get some new new looks in there and and really figure out some things that might not be going correctly. Yeah, and this is completely irrelevant to the rankings, but uh, FC Juarez has one of the coolest badges yep. in like world soccer. Like it's yeah. unreal. It's so it's awesome. <laughs> I completely agree. Completely, completely agree.